wonderful to see all the young people, the faces and the sweetness. I mean, everyone, all ages, their openness, their, their affection, whatever hardships that they'd gone through to get to this refugee camp. Uh, there was just seemed to be so much joy and, and innocence and hope. They are still open. They still believe in the goodness of the world and of the people around them. And I hope that the world will not disappoint them. I mean, sometimes it's overwhelming, the ignorance <laughs> that we have, even though we have, you know, 24 hour news. There's an enormous number of unaccompanied minors coming across the border, uh, seeking shelter and safety and a better life. But some of the resources have been moved to other places that, yes, are very much in need. People also escaping terrible circumstances. But these unaccompanied minors are so brave to give up their families, and perhaps their families encourage them uh, to come to a place where they wouldn't be in such a repressed society with no hope. And what I've seen in these refugee camps, especially the unaccompanied minors, there is still hope. There is an incredible light in the eyes of these uh, very young children and older adolescents. There's just a spirit there. I believe that there are the seeds of great promise but they do need a leg up, they do need help, they do need resources, and that's going to take money. I was so impressed with the uh, work of the JRS in these camps, uh, providing, you know, you can't just provide a safe place to sleep and, and, and minimum amounts of nutrition. You know, they're giving them English classes, classes in computer training, and very important, I believe, is art and music and sports. These are activities that keep their bodies active, their minds active. We can't abandon these, these amazing, this amazing group of people. I had been warned when I came here by professionals that I might, you know, uh, have a negative reaction, especially when I got back to the States, um, overwhelmed by the despair of it all. But I know that there are still terrible conditions and a lot has to be done. But there's so much hope there. There's so much promise. It, it really affected me in a very positive way. The ability to actually see it firsthand was a, a, an extraordinary uh, gift, I think, for me. I think if I've got one thing I'm going to take back, I, I believe that education is the key to everything. These minds need to be challenged and developed. It's a huge resource for the countries that they're in now, for wherever they may end up. But we have to give them the tools uh, to develop their, their hearts, their minds, their souls, uh, to use the abilities that they have that are still untapped. It's just a huge potential. So I don't know how to go about it, but I have a great deal of faith in the organizations in JRS and the UNHCR. There's so many people out there really wanting to help but it's just not enough to create a place of safety. We have to have the resources to give them a chance to realize their potential. I help you. I help you. I help you. I help you. He helps 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 you.